Your first date? What, did you even measure her walls? <laughs> You know, on our first date, Leonard used a coupon to buy me a pretzel. Instincts that seem to sense the threat of a loss, so huge and irrevocable, that the mind balks at taking its measure. I begin to wonder if I can understand all that Chris is saying any longer. If not necessarily to be strong, but to feel strong. To measure yourself at least once to find yourself at least once in the most ancient of human conditions. Facing the blind, deaf stone alone. Walk with one balance on your head for 50 meters. It is a measure of poise, balance, and posture. Let's just whip the frisbees at each other as hard as we can and see who quits first. Frisbee smash. Awesome! <laughs> in English vocabulary, we will learn the word, measure. It means, a unit or standard of measurement, weights and measures. Also means a system of measurement, liquid measure. Pay attention to the pronunciation. The first one is the word represented using the International Phonetic Alphabet. To pronounce measure have in mind that the size of the syllable indicates where the accent or stress is. In this case, the accent is in the first syllable, corresponding to mas. Below are other ways to pronounce it. Now, let's see how measure is used in real life. Your first date? What, did you even measure her walls? And if that fails, at least we provide them with the measure. To measure yourself at least once. The weight of the guilt and the measure of coincidence so large. <laughs> so. Instincts that seem to sense the threat of a loss. So huge and irrevocable. It's a half measure. It is a measure of poise, balance, and posture. Let's just. He doesn't measure his wealth in private jets, but purchase souls. Take the test at accent101.com to find out si sabes inglés o hablas inglés.